today's video, I'm gonna show you how to boost FPS, fix FPS drops and stutters in Son of Forest 2 with your any low end or a high end PC. Also, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you the best in game settings for Son of Forest 2 for getting more FPS on your PC. So, guys, welcome into my channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like on this video, and with wasting any time, let's go straight into over this video. So, guys, in the first step, you have to download Son of Forest 2 Optimization Pack on your PC. Link available down in the description. Simply open up the link from description and that will take you onto this website. And once you are here, you need to go for the search bar and simply search Son of Forest 2, and there you will find out the same exact article with the same thumbnail of my this current videos you are watching. You need to scroll down, click on this download button, it will take you on to the subscribe on YouTube. Make sure to follow and complete this step. You have to subscribe my channel and turn on the bell notification and also drop a like on this video. It will automatically unlock this link. Click on unlock link button. Now click on this download button and download this pack on your PC. Once you download, so here you will find out the three files inside this pack and you need to use it one by one. So first here we go registry optimization, then MZ RAM for the RAM optimization and the path control for our CPU optimization. So first open up the registry optimization folder and here we got multiple registry commands for our PC. It will work with Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows 7, Windows 8, every kind of component with any kind of Windows OS. So you need to install all this file one by one, it is very simple. So first here we go disable driver searching, double tap here, click yes, click ok. Then here disable file history services, also make sure to disable it, disable maintenance, click yes, click ok, disable power throttle, it will help you to fix the stutters. There is the disable windows telemetry, it will help you to improving your FPS and fixing the FPS drops. And at the last here we got high priority for setting our PC or our windows for the high priority for the specific game. Click yes, click ok and close out the registry optimization folder. In the next step guys here we got MZ booster so you need to double tap here and install this application on your PC and it will help us to optimizing our RAM for our specific game. Check mark onto the create a desktop icon, click next and install this application. Click on the finish button and here you will go to this kind of the interface of this application. Once you go to this application, now you need to go for the smart optimized button and first here is our total memory. I have 16 GB of the RAM, around 3 GB is in use and free memory is around 12 GB. First click here onto the smart optimize and then click onto the recover RAM. Once you're done, now you need to go for the option tab and there you need to go for the recommended value and it will automatically adjust the best settings according to your PC. Then click on to the apply values and click OK and close out this application and this will keep running in your background. Now let's go for our next application which is the power control and this is for our CPU course optimization. Double tap here, click yes, OK, I agree, next and install this application on your PC. I already got this application installed. So here it is running in my background. Now what you need to do, you need to go for the drop down and set it onto the bit some high performance. Make it activate. Go for the drop down and set it onto the performance. Now disable all of these settings and this will create a best powerful power plan on your PC which will give you more FPS and more performance in Son of Force 2 and on your overall Windows performance. Now check mark onto the bit some dynamic boost. Go for the drop down and set it onto the bit some high performance. Then click OK and click OK again and this application will keep running in your background whenever you turn on your PC. So guys, now in the next step, we are going to optimize our Windows settings. So you need to go straight into your Windows settings and you need to follow exactly every settings which I'm going to show you. So first go into the gaming mode and make sure to turn off the Xbox game bar and go for the game mode and turn on the game mode on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now go for the home tab, go straight into the privacy. Now scroll all the way down and there you will find out background apps click here and make sure to disable all of the background application it will help you to improve your pc performance now close out it and now press windows r together from your keyboard and here you need to type here ms config press enter from your keyboard now go straight into the boot tab advanced option check mark onto the number of processor and set it onto the maximum core you have on your pc now click ok hit apply click ok again and it will ask you for restarting your pc 
So simply guys, click on to the exit without restart because we will restart it later. Now guys, I'm gonna show you the best in-game settings for the forest. So guys, here is the best settings for in-game forest. You need to apply it according to your PC if you have a low-end PC, so go with the low settings. If you have a high-end or the mid-end PC, so go with the mid or the high-end PC. And also turn off all of the settings which cause FPS drops and stutters in your game. So guys, I hope so you love this video, so please make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notification, and till at the next video, peace out.